Okay, so, whoops. Oh, no, that's okay. Who wants to see an unboxing? I actually have two things to unbox. In one of those that I will be unboxing, I will have a bit of a, a rant about. But first things first is this guy. This is wholly and solely a blank canvas. Um, I think I got it from ADZQ, you know, the, the Hewer Can equivalent. So there's no, none of their drills. Excuse me. Um, excuse the noise that I make while I'm unboxing it. Okay, so I ordered this via AliExpress. I actually had to go and pick this up from the post office. Normally stuff gets delivered to a parcel locker, which means I can pick it up any time of day. Come on. But this was too long to fit in one of the parcel lockers. There you go. this up and it's not even on camera. Come on, I'm there and... Okay. Private custom wake up to or something or other. I don't know what's on there. Uh, oh, there we go. I'll find out where I paid for this. But private custom gift. Wake up your wall. That's pretty cool actually. So this is a blank canvas. And we will see what whether it measures out to what we need it to measure out. What's going on this is my own picture. Let's get to the right angle. There we go. So that's a lion S with the cub. No idea. So this was ordered 2nd of April. The paid $52 this. Oh, this is how you want to see canvas comfort. <laughs> oh. um, hang on. Where is it? So this was an 80 by 120. And yeah, paid 52.37 for it. I don't know whether it had coupons or what. So what I need to do is open this up and measure it. Actually, I'm look at the grid lines. I didn't think I need the grid. Ho -ho. Okay. So this was ordered as a 120 by 80. Now my canvas that I need, what is this? the canvas that I actually need is um, 119 and a half centimetres. I should have my glasses on and then I'll be able to see what I'm doing here. Side, but that's okay, okay. Oops, that's clever. It's the first time I've actually cut into my canvas, but there's a lot of canvas here. No idea. So, this is meant to be 120 by 80. Um, so, if I measure, I can see the squares for this. No, she's not. 78. 
but that's okay because I only need 71. It's the length of the canvas that I'm concerned about. So it's on a foam tube and this will be the only time I unroll it until I'm working with it. <laughs> My guess is going to be on your Hang on a sec. I've got something to weigh this out. Look at this. My cutting board. That'll definitely weight down that side of it. Oh my gosh. It's too big even for my desk. Okay. Um, what can I put on that? Ah. Radio. What I'm going to have to do is when I find the size of it, I may have to. Where's my tape measure? I've got to do this off canvas, off camera. Um, sorry, I'll be there in a sec. Okay, 16180. Nah. Shit. Nah. Okay, I've actually got to put in a. Um, this is not one. <sighs> 120 wide. Okay. This is not 120, not even the canvas is 120. Far out. Uh, even if I go. Sixty, and I'm at that roll now. Sixty, so that's a hundred and two, right from the edge of the canvas. It's about a hundred and nine centimeters. The canvas itself is only a hundred and nine centimeters. The canvas itself is only a hundred and nine centimeters. So I will. Um, we're putting a dispute in that. Far out. So that is that is too short. What I'd probably be looking at doing, I'd have to cut off the ends, which wouldn't be too bad. I'd probably work around it. But you know, um, that's 20 centimetres, basically 20, I'm about 20 centimetres short. If I grab my canvas or my printout, <laughs> yeah, not that one, that's the large, which one's the small print? looking at is uh, I'd be losing four probably four five rows either side so if I go back to this little schematic here, I'd probably be losing it to here. But I'm obviously going to have to measure it, take photos and put a dispute in to say that is not 120 centimetres. So there we go. That's the uh, first one. 
Okay, so I'll be lodging a dispute on this one. I won't be waiting. I'll be uploading this soonish anyway. Oops, there goes my pick. Okay, so that's that one. I want to get everything else off my chair that I put on my chair. I mean, I can work with it, but I will still lodge a dispute and ask for some form of refund, I think. Okie dokie. Now, this one, I deliberately hadn't put this in the title because everybody's been unboxing these things, so I didn't put it in the title deliberately. But we all recognise this box. And if you saw my fortnightly vlog, you would have seen a bit of a um, rant on this one. So this one is no need for words. I've seen three unboxings of this. I ordered on the 17th, so that's what I've been saying, I've been ordered on the 17th, but that was actually 16th of April that it was fulfilled because of the date, date finish. So in reality, it took 23 days to get to me. 23 days. So this is where I think on my front eyelid vlog, I had a bit of a rant. I've ordered from the US before in 10 days. 10 days is generally what it takes. And I've paid less in freight. But what I, where is it? So $42.95 and $24.95 US to purchase. That's actually Aussie dollar, $95.13 I paid. So 95, 90, well, $95. For this and it arrived 23 days after I ordered it. You go looking down the tracking side of it and the issue is not with um, Domino Club, it is with the company that they ship, ship through which is DHL. I would be expecting this to have arrived so much quicker. So when I look at their ordering Order placed 17th of April, which is my Australian Western Standard Time. Okay, ready for pickup on the 18th of April. Um, electronic notification received. Your order has is classes prepared. Okay, en route to DHL on the 18th. Classes en route. Arrival at the DHL Commerce Distribution 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 center on the 18th 19th processed in Compton 20th closed bag whatever that means 20th of April closed bag processing completed at origin on the 20th of April on the next thing you get is loaded for transport on the 25th of April so there's a week to get it loaded for transport so it just and then so that's on the 25th and then it didn't leave the export facility until the 28th so three days it sat there it took five days to get from the export facility to australia so arrived on the third on the sixth it cleared customs so there's three days and it was handed over to Australia Post on the 6th and it was delivered to Parcel Locker today. Well, I was, it was delivered to Malaga yesterday. I picked it up today. But I wasn't notified it was available till today. 23 days to get something that I paid freight for, which, as I said, I've ordered from the US before and 10 days is generally the average. 23 days. So... I actually have put a couple of things in my wish wish list for more. more. Um, however, I'm not sure whether I'll order it 
uh, uh, seriously, unless I can get faster freight than 23 days. 10 days acceptable, 15 days acceptable. Three weeks, no. But anyway, let's open this up. And everybody oohs and ahs about this. And I'm opening this up already full stop. So, you know, who knows what will come out of this unboxing. Right. Okay, so <laughs> I get away with you guys um, seeing the address on these because these go to a parcel lock. They don't come straight to me. Okay. Take the paper out. And here we go. Kit contains premium velvet tourmaline canvas, colour coded rhinestones, diamond applicator, wax paper craft tray, um, jaw dropping artwork that you can do at home, no experience required, and there nine steps to a diamond painting addiction. Some people say how to do it, it's more how to get addicted. Right. Under the oh. I love watching people on YouTube struggle getting packages open. Get one of these girls. I have so many tips and tricks that um, I put into my clips that if you actually watch them, you see so much. Um, that Xyron sticker maker, I've been using since September. I actually do have a clip where if you have a very tiny legend I show how to actually make that legend bigger so it fits as, so it's bigger and easier to read for the designer. Using a hairdryer to straighten a front canvas yet again that's hidden in one of mine. I see so much stuff that gets that people do and I will say who was it I had who was it I'm trying to remember Debbie Keller, thank you. Debbie actually apparently has told some YouTubers, other bigger YouTubers, about um, some of the things I've done. So, check, check, check. There's a tool tip. Okay, that's empty. I am going to take this out of the box, but Diamond Art Club do what makes this sparkle. I will say I can feel the softness through this. It does feel nice. It does feel nice, I will say that much. I can see where everybody oohs and ahs about how it feels. Oh, actually. <laughs> oh, I have to chuckle on that one. <laughs> it does feel nice, but it also feels okay. Straight off the bat, the my hands I actually am not keen to touch the back of that is it, <laughs> um, it feels really strange to me um, yeah anyway I have trouble with sticky tape I have trouble with different stuff so um, Okay, the back of the canvas is not doing it for me. I am going to unravel it this way. And do that. I'm not touching it, apart from just opening it up there. And I have a pucker. I have a I actually have a bubble in my canvas. I will turn it over. I've got another bubble there. Okay. I have a bubble here. Bubble here. I'd say it's only air bubble trapped under. But still, you hear about how good the canvases are. Um, yeah, okay. So there is actually a bubble there and a bubble there. Um... 
Yeah, okay. I'll worry about that when I turn it over. Okay, so. Rodeo, 27 colours and there we go. There she is. No need for words. And if I actually put her on a piece of paper, you'll be able to focus on her. There we go. My camera's just in the wrong spot, I think, for lighting wise. Um, colour coded list. I'm actually going to. I've seen people doing the unboxings of these and seeing the labels. What I'm just looking for, what would have been nice, and I don't know if it's only just me, what would have been nice if, was if it was on sticky paper, and that was what I was hoping to find, but it's not. Okay, so there we go. 27 colours. And one for one will be my AB drawers because this is for AB drawers. Yet again, the um, nine steps to a diamond painting addiction. And seeing everybody do the QR codes, bear with me. I'm going to see, I'm actually going to scan it because I've never actually done this. Yes, I do want to allow it to. So, as an example, I'm actually come up with ads on QR codes. Um, whoops. Okay, so that's what happened when it scanned up. Time up now. And open it up. And is it going to? And that just that doesn't take you to the one that I've got. It just takes you to the diamond painting, to Diamond Art Club. So that doesn't take you to the actual picture just to the Diamond Art Club site. But that's cool. That's really cool. Drill kit. What have I got in here? Okay. Is there anything else? Yeah, there's something else in there. So. Okay. Three baggies. Four baggies. Four baggies. They'll come in handy somewhere. Drill pen, grippy, um, love my grippies. I still use standard diamond painting pens, but I just build up the grippies, which stops them from sliding along. Three placer and the clear tray. And that clear tray has actually got good, decent high sides and good um, reaches on it. I like that. Nice tool kit. Um, what do I say about the cookie? Very nice. Four bags. Um, yeah, they'll probably get thrown out. Their their bags are split easy. The cute hearts. Cute hearts. I will say that I actually cut my wax down. I put it into a diamond dots tub instead of having to worry about wax sitting around the place. And. Right anyway, so keep that toolkit together. And as I said, 27 colours. Let's enjoy the sound of printing plastic. One of the things, actually, that, that's quite interesting. I'm just going to open that up. So this is called No Needs for Words. It's a 42 by 63. And I will show it eventually. Now, people start to talk about um, yep, people talk about how these are not in order. My guessing, and by the look of it, these are in drill quantity order. But I've done others where it's been in drill quantity, or you've, 
the bags have they've been sorted and you've received them in dual quantity order. This code has been in dual code in quantity order as well. If I was to do an inventory on this one, 310, there's my 310, 797, so it's a case of ticking off and ticking off. So all I can do is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 27. That's the only way. Otherwise, it's just a case that, well, I could have ticked off. But personally, if you're going to pack them in quantity order, your code listing should be in quantity order. That's just the way I, I see it. If you're going to use DMC codes here in order, use DMC, pack them in DMC code order. I will say I did the short link canvas. The, the drills were not, the, 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 this was not in order, DMC order, which absolutely nutted me out, or in numerical order. But I could understand it was in quantity order, and in quantity order I was able to work my way down. So that's just something that, me being nitpicky because I'm pissed about having to wait so long. That being said, the AB drills are here. They are very sparkly and it is the first time I have seen square AB drills. Um, I took my time ordering Diamond Art Club because shipping from the US I knew I'd have to pay part of purchasing from the US, you'd have to pay for shipping. Um, but um, you pay for shipping, you generally get it pretty quick anyway. Whereas if you don't pay for shipping, you just get it when you get it. So now for the canvas. Hmm. Sorry, thinking. Here we go. Diamond Art Club. No need for words. So, this sparkly. The canvas is sparkly. Still feels funny on the back of my hand. The back of it feels funny. Um, where? I'm just going to. I've had this sitting. There's a bubble. Is it anything to worry about? It's nothing to worry about. Okay. The only, only folds I've got is basically in the canvas. Okay. One of the biggest things we say is if you're paying good money, you want good product. If you don't pay good money, you don't whinge about um, something not being right. So when you pay what I pay, I'm really making sure, really checking. Okay, okay. Roll up under here. Work that along. You can take those lines out of that plastic, kind of. Oops. So what? Uh, when you unbox something, so much of it is relates to the mood you're in at the time. Um, yeah, I'll say the canvas is pretty, it's sparkly. The drills, let's see how they go. Um, but I will say if you're going to part, if you're going to 
pack them like this, have your code the same, or pack these the same as your code. There is no correlation. Whoops. Bear with me. Okay, here we go. Sorry. I had this uh, and you couldn't really see it. So what I'm saying is if you're going to bag these out of order, do these out of order. Have them both in order, not out of whack. People talk about OCD going, oh, well, this should be in, in DMC order. I can understand why they're doing size. I can fully understand size. But if you're going to do that in quantity order, do the side in quantity order. It just makes sense. The OCD side of things, that's that's where it doesn't make sense. That's me being fussy. I will say, what else? I am planning to put these. My plan is to actually put them into this. And I'm hoping one of these bags fills this. Otherwise, I'm going to be using extra baggies. Um, yet again, I'll see that when I um, kit it up, which will be my next step in this. I want to get this kitted up and ready to go for when I'm ready to work on it. Um, the face, we go to the artwork itself. Turn that off now. Get the lighting. The face, she does look like she'll have enough detail. Oh, hang on, sorry guys. I'm just trying to get this so that the So I do believe her face will have enough detail. Um, he is a handsome man. Um, I mean, for me to buy a diamond art club, it was a case of I really had to really like it and be in my taste. And if you see me, I've got a lot of cat ones. I love the big cats. Um, probably because I've actually had the... I've seen them in life, so they mean so much more to me. I'm not a leopard print type of person, um, but I could actually do this one and I can see this going to um, actually have an idea of who I want to give this to. For Christmas. So I don't know why I'm rolling this up. I'm going to put this straight on a um, skirt trouser hanger so this will straighten up, and um, then when I kick this up, I'll tackle the drills, but I'm going to kick this up straight away anyway. But um, I'll tackle the issue with the drills um, when I, while I'm doing the kitting up. Oh, there's the other packet. Um, actually, that's something. If, because I just put one packet to the side, didn't realise it. There is. The only thing that, if I didn't put these back in their bag, the only way to know that it belongs to No Need for Words is if I put it into that bag. There's, I can't store these anywhere but inside this bag because there's nothing on here that says it relates to. You get your um, you get just the other ones, the cheap, really, really cheap ones. They at least have a code on it that matches the canvas so that then if, say, perhaps kids get into it and mess it up, you know it's still got the label, it's got a number that will coincide with your, your drilling field, you're, you're done painting. Okay, and one thing I still haven't done is 42, she's 42, the size is good, by Sideways. I've got a decent sized desk. 
and zero on that side to just under 63. I actually go right on the edge. Straight on the edge, yes it is 63. So to size. So yeah, there we go. Um, Diamond Art Club. No need for words. And my canvas, which um, is too short, which I need to put a dispute in. Um, but I'm still able to work with that. And you know what? I'm more excited about working on blank canvas than I am on working on this. So, yeah. Um, I will say thank you for watching. Whoops. There we go. Thank you for uh, watching. Um, Thumbs up, thumbs down um, for those of you that are fanatical on your Diamond Art Club. Yes, I'm very picky. Give me a thumbs down. Give me your comments. Fire away. But I am not going to get there going, oh, well, it's not Diamond Art Club and it's okay. This is my first time I've gotten Diamond Art Club. And to me, 23 days is the equivalent to me ordering something from China Mail. I will say the canvas, um, everybody compliments and set raves on the canvas. Yes, it's soft. But maybe it's me. I actually am not oohing and ahhing over that canvas. It's pretty and sparkly, but once the drills are down, I'm not going to see the sparkles. There is some fraying on the edges. And, and I will say other companies, sorry, other companies have been crucified over the fact that they're spraying. And to get there go, yeah, there's spraying on the edges, and you hear some people going, oh, there's spraying on the edges, you know, there shouldn't be any fraying. This has got fraying. Yes, I could probably put something on there to stop it from fraying, but like others have said, why should I? I'm paying good money for it. And I am sounding like an absolute bitch and I'm hating the way I sound. And I am so sorry for that side of things. But there we go. Um, two unboxings in one. And um, thumbs up, thumbs down. Fire away with your comments. I am being as picky as this as I was on the short link canvas. And I actually, I will say it. I liked, I really liked the short link canvas. I prefer the feel of the short link canvas. And I actually have ordered another short link canvas. It has cost me $52 to buy this short link canvas. It will be here in 10 days. I only ordered it today. I've been guaranteed 10 days in delivery. $52. Um, and what size is that? Um, Uh, do, 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 do. It was a, I think, 75 by 200, $52. That includes my freight cost. So we'll see how that one goes and how that one turns up. So, yeah. But, yeah, far away with the comments. Oh, I'm actually prepared for the comments on this one um, because I've been so harsh on it. But I'm not going to use the excuse of, oh, well, you know, it's Diamond Art Club. This is the first time I've ordered from them. Everybody's raving about them, but please tell me why you're raving. Um, oh, well, you know, it's that's okay. We, yeah, it doesn't matter that it's out of order. Yet other people have gone, it doesn't matter it's out of order. Yet you see them on their YouTube channels going, oh, I don't like this one because it's out of order. Yet they make an excuse because it's done an art club. Regardless of where the company comes from, you should be looking at everything the same way. Actually, look at everything the same way. I actually didn't look at the quality of the symbols. And that, that is actually a big one. And the symbols are really good. I do like the symbols. The symbols are pretty clear. Wait for it to focus. There we go. So the symbols are clear. So we'll say symbols are clear. Um, drills look good. Yeah. Okay, thumbs up, thumbs down. I expect a lot of them on this one. Um, 
fire away with your comments and um, I'll see you when I kick this one up.